obviously tough, uh, tough loss this past weekend uh, at Navy. Um, you know, knew it would kind of be that kind of ball game. It's the kind of game we anticipated going in. Uh, low scoring, very close. Um, you know, uh, thought uh, give up a couple plays early uh, defensively, but then really settled in and played. Uh, you know, pretty decent from the bulk of the day defensively. Um, at the end of the day, uh, you know, we're not able to capitalize on a couple of turnovers, and we turn the ball over, uh, which we, you know, we we talked going in. That's not we we couldn't do that. We had to maximize our opportunities. Um, so you know, disappointing loss. Um, kids, uh, you know, they were disappointed in it also. Uh, but, uh, you know, we came back Sunday. I thought they were positive on Sunday. Um, excited about this weekend being back in Daddy Ficklin Stadium. Uh, obviously, it's senior day, uh, and there's a, a group of seniors that have, um, you know, they've done a lot of things that uh, we need to make sure that we focus on this week. And, uh, you know, they've been a part of back to back bowl games. Uh, you know, they were on the field last uh, last December uh, for the Birmingham Bowl victory. And uh, it's, this season has not been what we wanted from a one-loss perspective. Uh, but these young men have competed and uh, been fantastic. And uh, look forward to honoring them pregame. Uh, and then our complete focus is on Tulsa and uh, making sure that we have an opportunity to send them out the way we all want to. Uh, it's going to be a challenging matchup. Uh, Tulsa is playing better and better as the season went, has went on, especially the last couple of weeks. Um, so it's going to be, uh, you know, a, a great matchup against a uh, a team that's playing uh, their best ball of the year uh, right now. So uh, should be an exciting weekend. Just really want to. I know it's a holiday weekend. Uh, students uh, or uh, most of the students will be gone home. Uh, but, uh, you know, really want to encourage Pirate Nation to come out and support uh, these seniors uh, and our student athletes in their final home game of the regular season. Questions? Coach, you obviously made the move uh, with, with Coach Donnie. And take us through that, that conversation and, and, you know, why <clears throat> that announcement now versus, you know, after the season or early in the season as well. Well, I think. Um, Obviously, a very difficult decision. Uh, Coach Kirkpatrick and I have been together for a while, and uh, we've had a lot of success together, uh, and there's been a lot of really, really good times. Um, he is disappointed in uh, the performance of our offense uh, and in our season overall this year, uh, just as well as I have. Um, Donnie is someone that uh, we all care about. Uh, his family, we care about them. Uh, it was a tough conversation, but you know, the one thing about him is he is always going to handle himself in a first-class matter and very professionally. Um, so it was, it was definitely that kind of conversation. Um, he cares a lot about this university and this program. Obviously, he's had stints here with uh, both Skip and Ruff uh, before coming back with me. So he's been a part of some you know, pretty bright uh, moments in, in Pirate football history. Um, and, you know, his big thing is he wants to, he wants to finish off his time here uh, and this season on a positive note. And so he's very focused on trying to help our team and our coaches uh, figure out a way to get a win on Saturday. Um, and uh, just you know, have a lot of respect for just the way he uh, handled everything. Coach, is there a certain offensive philosophy that you'll be looking for? I know you said you want to make this hire fairly quickly. And how does the portal and everything play into in the whole factor with a new offensive coordinator? Well, I think it's I think it's appropriate to get into uh, all that stuff after the game Saturday. You know, I really want to keep our focus you know where it needs to be right now, and that's on Tulsa. Uh, obviously, I have very strong thoughts on that, but that needs to kind of wait until after the weekend. Coach, any plans to get Raheem Jeter in with this being the final game? If if you have that opportunity. Well, I think each and every game uh, and each and every part of a game. Um, we are all going to do everything we can to give the Pirates their best chance to win. Um, that's the that's the primary focus. Um, so, uh, would love to get him in if we had the opportunity, um, and uh, have talked to him about that a good bit. Um, you know, we've we've been in, you know, one score games in the fourth quarter 
uh, with chances to win. And so those, those are situations that aren't ideal for a true freshman, uh, you know, in the situation that we're in right now. Coach, you guys will obviously honor a lot of seniors, but you know, you look at Jeremy Lewis, five-year guy in particular, and also Julius Wood, kind of the, those two guys really are the heart and soul of your defense. What, what do they mean to this, uh, to this team? Well, I think first off, they've, they've had their best seasons individually uh, this year, and they are playing, both of them are playing at a very high level right now. And, uh, you know, they're, they're both young men that uh, I'm very close with and, you know, been through a lot of stuff on the field and, and probably more off the field, you know, because you, you spend virtually every single day with them. You spend more time with them than you spend with your own family and um, love both of them and uh, proud of both of them and, and what, they've, what they've done. Um, I, I doubt they're done playing football after Saturday. I think both of them have had the kind of seasons to put themselves in situations to, to continue playing. Uh, but you know, my big focus is making sure that they have a great, uh, great Saturday afternoon. Coach, you've mentioned in the past the emotion of playing on senior night and how you kind of handle that as a head coach. Are you doing anything differently this year to try and counteract some of the emotion from last year? Yeah, I think it's tough. I mean, it's, it's. I, I try to keep my emotions in check, and I think the players. I'm, you know, I'll talk to them about trying to keep their emotions in check. But it is what it is. I mean, you know, this is your life. I mean, this is for these players. They have poured everything into this program and and this sport and. Uh, you know, we've poured a lot into each other, and uh, so it is an emotional time. And just, you know, I think lessons learned, uh, you know, from past years uh, for me and the players. And uh, I think that we'll all handle things uh, probably a little bit better this year. So. Because just with the announcement on Donnie, specifically in the offense, how important is it for those guys to – you know, refocus and kind of what's your message to them in a week like this as far as going into Saturday, trying to, to finish on that high note? Well, I think number one, um, our entire roster is unified on trying to finish the season off the way we want to. I think that's the biggest thing. Uh, I went, uh, went around and talked to all of the offensive players uh, in their position meetings and uh, just, you know, talked to them about, you know, the decision first off, and it's, it's a part of our – uh, profession and business. Um, but uh, the other piece I talked to him about is just how much Coach Kirkpatrick cared about them uh, and cared about making sure that they have success this week and this Saturday. And uh, I think that they, uh, I think they, they all, just like me, can respect that. And, uh, and I think that we'll be very unified Saturday. Coach, as you approach the final game, you're kind of in a different situation than you have been the last couple of years. Do you kind of just let it rip, I guess, when you go into this final game? Well, that's my big thing with the players today when we meet is, you know, we need to have our best week of practice. I expect that we're going to have a really, really good one. Um, I expect us to go out and play, you know, free on Saturday, very aggressive. Um, you know, I, I, just, I just want our players to go out and enjoy this game together and play the very best ball they've played all year. You know, that, that if you could give an ideal thing, it would be for us to play our best game of the year this Saturday afternoon in Daddy Ficklin. Thanksgiving week, too. So just take us through the, the schedule and, you know, where you guys eat together on Thursday as well. Yep. So, you know, obviously the uh, rest of the student body, for the most part, is going to uh, leave out this afternoon uh, once classes are done. So uh, there's, you know, no classes Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. Um, you know, tomorrow we'll come in, uh, you know, the players, they'll lift and meet in the morning, and then we'll practice right after, uh, right after lunch, so a little bit earlier tomorrow, uh, get our practice in, try to get them off their feet a little bit. Um, you know, the coaches, it'll be, you know, pretty normal for us uh, as far as game prep and uh, preparing. Uh, Thursday, we will practice in the morning, um, which is what most people do uh, on, that, on that day. And then we'll have a, a Thanksgiving lunch, tr very traditional uh, Southern Thanksgiving lunch uh, together as a team after practice. And then, uh, you know, the players, they'll have 
uh, the rest of the afternoon and evening off uh, to get off their feet. I know that uh, a lot of them have families coming into town. Um, coaches will try to get out of here, you know, uh, at some point uh, Thursday afternoon. That way our staff can see their families for Thanksgiving dinner uh, that night. And then, you know, Friday and Saturday will be pretty typical Fridays and Saturdays as far as, you know, our schedules. Okay, thanks a lot.